Have you ever got a client in a regular teddy bear head and they want a Bichon head and you're like, how do I transition to a Bichon head? My favorite thing to do is to do panda ears. Panda ears are also equally adorable if you want a dog to just have a different haircut, maybe Asian fusion influence. So what we're doing here is just rounding the bottom of the head. We're keeping it as wide as possible. To give a good round look and then I'm scissoring whatever hair touches the eye line so if you made an invisible line across the eyes it would be any hair that goes above that line um, when you when you comb the muzzle from like northeast and northwest now I'm rounding the sides think of it as like a cartoon character you want it to have a really strong outline so you just comb, lightly scissor the round shape. Now I am doing the bubble like you do on a Bichon head. Um, that's when you comb one layer down at a time and you round it. And that really gives it that layered, almost angry eye look. But they're too cute to look angry. Okay, now I'm just blending the back. It's so cute already. See how it has that Bashan look? And I comb out the ears and I lift them. And I'm going to get some thick and thicker. And I spray from underneath. That gives the ears enough lift to really get a good shape and um, the way it works is whenever you're scissoring it the hair should hold the next hair up so it holds each layer up above it and you just kind of comb up around it so cute and yeah the thicker and thicker wears off and it hangs down but you're getting that shape and you're training the hair to stand up so in the future if you want to do full on Bashan head the next time you have that lift because sometimes their hair is just so silky and heavy when they come in and they want a real Bashan head but the ears have been down for so long this is my after